My name is Bernardo Valerino. So about seven months ago, Camille uh, approached me and she asked me that she had this idea for a mural um, and she wanted to have a mural done uh, in this property and that uh, if I could help her out with figuring it out. So what happened is uh, we uh, I got some ideas together, uh, came up with the, I came up with the design, and then uh, we started working on the actual project. So what is your name? Camille Branson. I'm here working on Kindness Managed Mural Project. Do you know any backstory about Richard Branson? Um, actually, he's my father, so I have a great backstory. Um, I think it's very fitting that the background is actually his fingerprint. Um, he was all about kindness matters, and so I, uh, I'm honored that he can be a part of this even today. The, the mural features several things. So the first thing it features is the, it's a fingerprint, which is the background. Uh, I originally wanted to do a uh, organic pattern in the, in the back. And as I was researching both um, organic patterns that were connected to the building, the history of Burleson, uh, the city itself, uh, I found myself um, looking through different things. And one of the things that came up was a fingerprint pattern. Uh, immediately, I thought of the connection between the building, uh, Mr. Branson, Richard Branson, um, and the city, and you know what uh, a lot of people think of him. Uh, so I ended up asking Camille to figure out a way of uh, finding a fingerprint of her dad's. Uh, after doing some research, we found out that there weren't any fingerprints available. So we had to go to option B, which is basically a CSI type process in which we had to uh, get some of his belongings uh, after 17 years um, and uh, actually pull the fingerprint from, from some credit cards. And that fingerprint actually is what you actually see in the mural, two giant fingerprints of Richard Branson. I'm Stacy Kilpatrick. I'm Taylor Kilpatrick. Landry Kilpatrick. I'm Taylor Kilpatrick. I'm Gemma Kilpatrick. Gemma Kilpatrick and Taylor Kilpatrick. We were driving by and we keep seeing the big mural and we thought it was beautiful. We stopped and we were talking to the artist and he told us that it was actually um, Ransom's fingerprint. Right. And we thought that was so cool, just like this big legacy. And then all three of my girls love art, and so he said they were having an interview, uh, opportunity to come out and help paint the wall. And we thought, how amazing would that be to be able to come and be a part of this, as not just the, the community, but also like a long legacy of every time we drive by, we'd be like, oh, you know, they're in high school. We helped paint that wall. The Kindness Matters is a tagline that has been used for several years. When I was thinking about what to do for the mural, I wanted something that kind of encompassed uh, the spirit of the town as well as something that everybody can jump aboard with. And I figured that that specific uh, phrase uh, was iconic enough that uh, that would fulfill kind of what I was looking for. Um, Beyond that, I want something else, a logo, an image that would condense that to a single image. So um, after doing several maquettes, different images, I, um, I came up with uh, a new logo for it per se, which is the, the heart and with the longhorns. Besides that, the only other things that are, are iconic within the um, mural is um, the hearts, of course, in, in the border, but also ants. Um, Ants are used widely in my body of work. Uh, specifically in this case, I am definitely utilizing the, the, the symbology of ants as community, as um, strength, uh, cooperation, um, unity, and a few other things that I think that the city itself, um, it, it, uh, there are things that I think that, that the city itself embodies. So hmm. they become an icon or, or, or also an image that kind of uh, 
reinforces some of the things that we see your bros have had. So the hat. Um, the hat. So the, originally I, I started working and I realized that it was really hot outside so I needed to protect my neck and um, I, I don't have any hats. However, uh, as a Colombian, uh, I do own an, an inside out hat. I, 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 some, some red or the other is what we call it, an inside out hat. And um, it's, it's perfect because it covers my head completely. However, I, I've, I've noticed that it has become an iconic, iconic image of, of my hat and me on, on the lift of, of painting on the mural. So um, I like actually that it has become an icon because it speaks a little bit of uh, my own personal background being a Colombian American. Um, and, and I think that's actually kind of important to, to the whole process. About 20 feet up in the air. Oh, yes. <laughs> Me and ladders. Uh, uh, on system. the lift, thanks to Sunbelt. Yes, thank yes. Sunbelt. We are very, 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 very thankful for them for allowing us to have this scissor lift. Um, because otherwise, we couldn't do it. <laughs> otherwise, we couldn't do it. It's so, great. check out the wall. It's City Market. Uh, the background is nearly complete. And we'll, 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 we'll finish it today. Yep, finishing. What did you say? We'll, 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 we'll finish the background today. We'll finish the background today. So then you'll start seeing the color pop out and um, the finished product is going to be gorgeous and beautiful. So 100 donations of $100 is going to go back to our community. If you have questions, please message us on the Facebook page or call us or come by the wall. Have a great Saturday.